that advances the idea of equality of people despite the differences in their genders. Well, and it's not Dr. Tien Demberi, Takabakure, Forward Ever, Backward Never, Feminism, Mira Inesu, Famba Inesu, Hashtag Women Leadership. We are still in the month of March and we are still celebrating women leadership and uh, we're still talking about inspiring each other to be the best versions of ourselves by pushing boundaries and leading from the front, changing Uh, people's lives, the lives of communities through various projects. Women are doing it. Uh, And today I'll definitely be hosting some women that are definitely making a mark in different spheres. What I love about Zimbabwe is that we have organizations such as Institute for Young Women Development that seek to actually empower women, that have created spaces for promotion of young women's rights. Now, They continue to push boundaries, safeguarding their livelihoods and enhancing participation of women. And we've heard so many testimonies uh, on this particular show from different women who have acknowledged the role that the Institute for Young Women Development have played in who they have become today, leaders of the uh, next generation's leaders of note. By the way, this program is proudly brought to us by the Institute for Young Women Development with the main aim of inspiring that leader in you. Today on the show, I'm joined by Tsitsima Sao, which is the lady responsible for the song that we just played there, as well as um, Sandra Zenda, and she's the program's coordinator at the Institute for Young Women Development. And a little later, I'll be speaking to Lizzie Nkondo as well as uh, Tendai Chiveo. Um, the lot are farmers and they're doing amazing, amazing work. But let me just quickly uh, say good morning to Tsitsi. Tsitsi, what do say? I want to say Sandra, good morning and thank you so much for joining us on Capitalk 100.4 FM. You are most welcome and good morning to you. Thanks for having me on the show today. Great to have you as we continue to celebrate International Women's Month. I will start with you, Sandra. Um, In fact, um, I want to know why it's important for us women to understand um, feminist economics. All right. So thank you for that. Um, So I'll start briefly uh, with the background of IWID. So the Institute for Young Women's Development, or IWID, our vision 
in general is to see young women uh, being capacitated and having strengthened ability um, to stand as young women and having and realizing their right of way. So we want to see every young woman who is enhanced, who is widened, and who is enriched in order to realize their right of way. So we then realized that to, re- to achieve this goal where all young women have their right of way, it would not be proper for us to leave out a very important and key aspect, which is economic freedom. And this is where we then talk about uh, feminist economics because we cannot um, ignore that aspect. So we have a situation where our young women because of a prolonged history of exclusion in economic matters. Historically, we have been disadvantaged. So there now is a need for us to be able to be talking about feminist economics and starting from the bottom where we are capacitating, where we are actually um, making sure that young women, they understand the basis of economics and specifically taking a feminist age because the feminist aspect um, in feminist economics it provides us with a winning age actually where economic issues are tackled from a feminist point of view where we are looking at women in general and we're talking about financial management and we're talking about money makers in relation to women based on our understanding of women's relationship and with money this is where it becomes important for us to be talking about feminist economics. All right. Now, Thank you. Now, you've been working with young women. I want to understand what have been the challenges. You spoke here about uh, issues around exclusions, and this has been a challenge uh, over the years. What have been some of the challenges, and how have you come through to, to actually help and capacitate these young women? Okay, uh, thank you so much for that. So yes, what we have just talked about right now is actually one of the challenges, exclusion. That is a barrier in itself. So because of inclusion, um, that barrier then becomes lack of knowledge, not being able, not understanding feminist economics, and then not being able to monetize whatever they have to offer. So as I read, uh, what we do is we help these young women to then monetize their skills. And at the moment, we have two focus areas which we are actively involved in, us as IVIT and the young women that we work with here in National and Central and also across the nation. Mm. So first of all, we focus on arts and culture. I'm very happy that today we have Tima Sawit, uh, who sang the song that we listening to. Um, so if you listen clearly, you see that in her message, she's talking about women, She's talking about women's rights. It's actually advocacy for women's inclusion. She's talking about feminism. So she is doing advocacy. She is spreading a message. But where we come in is then we talk about monetizing that skill. We talk about monetizing that ability, which is in line with feminist economics. And we also do have theater groups where we believe in art, expressing real, expressing real issues advocacy issues which are to do with women's inclusion but we do that specifically through art and we facilitate monetizing that talent in line with feminist economics as well and then we also have a focus on farming and this is because of our geographical coverage where we operate mostly in rural mining and farming areas so ideally we do take advantage of the resources and opportunities that are there where we reside farming. So when we do farming, actually, we don't do farming as usual. So we encourage our women to do sustainable farming. And this in line with our government's priorities and also aligned to the SDGs, where we are mostly focusing on climate smart agriculture. And at the moment, we are facilitating um, farming, organic farming of small grains that are actually climate smart. But then again, um, even as we are facilitating small grains farming, we also do recognize that small grains, just like uh, most of um, crops which are mostly grown by women, we realize that they have less market value when compared to other crops which are mostly grown by men or considered as uh, men's crops. Let's say, for example, tobacco. 
Uh, so their production is typically not climate smart, but is high in terms of financial gain. So what we do, um, we then now um, explore partnerships and avenues that will ensure that whilst we are still farming these small grains that are considered as women's crops and that are also climate smart, we explore partnerships and avenues that will ensure that we do get financial gain at the end of the day. And that, again, is in line with feminist economics, where we explore avenues for getting financial gain. Now, indeed, um, so a little later, we will uh, join some of the people that have benefited from the Institute for Young Women Development, uh, speaking about Ishia Trukutare, monetizing their skills. But let me take you back, Sandra, to something that you spoke about. This is something that I'm very passionate about, the fact that you're supporting the arts this for me is is quite huge. We have young ladies that are that are in this industry that might not have knowledge around how they can actually get in touch with you or get this kind of help or, uh, or, or knowledge around monetizing their skills. How do how do people get to be part of this or partake of uh, some of these skills that um, you impart on these young girls? Uh, okay, thank you so much. So as a starting point, they can get in touch with us as the Institute for Young Women's Development. And then from there, we take them through a variety of programs that we have as an institution. And we also do have Facebook pages and YouTube or Twitter platforms also, where we share these initiatives that we have. But as a starting point, I think I can give out my contact details for people who would want to hear more on this. All right, before I ask you to give you uh, um, give us really the contact details, the, some of the programs that you have, uh, uh, can you maybe take us through uh, some of them that might benefit young women in the arts? All right, all right. Uh, thank you. So for women in the arts sector, actually we have a theater group. Um, so here we, first of all, we capacitate young women who are interested in theater. We capacitate them through training uh, and equip them with skills uh, for theatre to advocate for any issues that are topical for young women. Mm. Um, and then for singers, we also have that platform whereby where there are young women singers, when they get in touch, we actually take them through the whole process. We have people who are available to mentor them, including Sissy as well. She has been mentored, she has been groomed. But at the moment, she's actually quite big in terms of mentoring other upcoming artists. Beautiful. Now, Waruda Kuito Farming, uh, what kind of programs do you have for them? Okay. Um, so for those who would want to do farming, we are working in partnership with another organization, which is quite big in terms of organic and small grain farming. So, so we also do have a platform uh, for farmers those who are interested, those who are actually practicing farming, those who are interested. So again, at the office, we have a database and we have contact details. And we also have platforms whereby we, on a daily basis, communicate with these young women farmers for training, for monitoring, and for support as well on a continuous basis. Beautiful stuff. Now, if you just joined us, we're in a segment that uh, is proudly brought to us by the Institute for Young Women Development. And on the line with me, Sandra Zenda. And we're talking about some of the programs that they have. And they're helping women to monetize their skills. I have to let you go, Sandra. But before that, uh, please give us your contact details. Because uh, uh, as well, we want to speak to Lizzie Wei and uh, Tendai, some of the beneficiaries of some of these programs that um, you have put forward uh, that have benefited uh, from some of the work that you're doing. How do people get in touch with you, Sandra? Uh, thank you so much. So I'll provide my contact details. Um, it's 0772 Beautiful. And what would be your parting shots to all the young women out there regards issues to do with the leadership, empowerment, and uh, monetizing their skills? My parting words would be we can do it. The first part of course, for us to be very confident that we can do it. We just need to be where things are being done, learn from those who are doing that, and then take advantage of the power of numbers. Take advantage of women's movement that I would where you can actually learn from those who are doing it. 
and together we can. Thank you so much for your time. I have to let you go. But as well, uh, happy International Women's Month and continue to do the amazing work that you're doing. Thank you so much and happy International Women's Day month rather. Thank you so much. All right, Sandra. I was speaking there to Sandra Zenda. She's the programs coordinator at the Institute for Young Women's Development. And we also have Tsitsi Masawa. She gave us the song that we just played earlier uh, before we started having this conversation. Tsitsi, uh, what have you benefited in as far as developing your music talent? What has the Institute for Young Women Development done for you in terms of uh, your musical career? Okay, thank you so much. In short, Ngangoti Institute for Young Women's Development. Yakandi Minta because I was such a woman who could not have that much confidence. You could imbap and I used to imbap a church. Though the Kangentin, um, Ashwan, you could imbap in a chakuita, never no card. So, Vakandi Minta, and even now I'm growing in music. Vakandi Pamukana. We put music here, it is great, like my gatherings, Abo, and in Nova Nodi Pamukana, we could perform as Nova Zakaita with the Bosque Confidence, and even the information in Dakuimba, Dakuansa Quimba, you know, Chaiso Chaiso, because in the name, Santino benefit as the Mangwanda did work my training, you know, Kwansa Okubata, my issues and check it and Nevanu card. So, in short, I can say, I can be back in that way. Na upani kambo kata riza, kava kurira manje manje, kawa kanyora, kachimbo tuza mchidimbo kuti inspiration ya kunyora kamba wako ya kabvepi. And kano nzani, uye, e, kano taura neje, chaizu, chaizu. Ndiwe, refutu waka imba kayeka, kani masoko ya kuti, uh, pane ka that, kati na kwa sema yes. zimai. Yes. Chimbo tuza yes. kuti, yes. Uh, mabata nziraono ita ma, masoko ako, e, chaura neje wa nukazi, jinombo bakupi. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to share in on the feminism. So in the Kai Nora, in fact, after that reason is feminism. The Kao Nazaka Kosha Kuti Dinori Iri song, so that in the Nokansa could do the Sao Vangwe Madmai because in any motive yangu behind my music is to champion my inequalities within my societies. So, since uh, so we have feminism, you. Iri kunyanyo fokasa mo haku yenza niswa kwe um, masimba, in fact, kwe vanu kazi, ne vanu rumi. So ndaka wana kuti, zininge zaka kuhusha kuti, ndi zivise kuneo wa mweva singa tuzene se feminism. Kuti nyairi po inyaye kuyenza niswa kwe mikana, kwe vanu rumi, ne vanu kazi. So that it no bata yenda kujenda equality. Okay, if you just joined us, it is Capital 100.4 FM. I have Titi on the line, and uh, we're talking about uh, her music. And uh, earlier on, we were talking uh, to Titi, uh, who is the program's coordinator at the Institute for Young Women Development. Now, Titi, Changada Kutaura Kunevangwe Vaskan, Navarim Industry, especially in Nawe, Zawaka Zidza, Kubaku Institute for Young Women Development, Dejakutichi. Especially Baruku Daku Simukira Munyadze Mumanzi Idzi. Okay, Changango Tower and the Yaku is one me. There's one for me, and I saw me our tower. You can't panic at that, Daddy. Um, Semukadwe Chidiki or Muskana. You don't have to sit on a comfort zone. Tutu Fanda Kusumuka, you own an answer to the Gutu Nichipo, Chapo. Saka usadzi kisirwe, usadzi nyirirwe, because we out there, kune wanu, vani muono we kuti, ukawona uh, egeo or young women a chita ze music, vano kutora nizmenzi, the likes of kutoti inze inza, kana kuti, ada kuone kwa. So, ndru kuti, ine zmachi kichimba, ngatiwe im, vanu wari bold enough, kuto tiki prove ourselves kuti no zviri kutaurwa kana zvinofunga vanhu asi siri icho simu kana chipo chako ende unenda kure and take music as your career if you feel like ndo zviri mauri now what can we expect kubva kwauri uchabuditsa here dzimwe dzimbo 
uh, in this year 2021 zakanyanyo nangana ne madzimai yes of course i have released an album so far no ndi sunga idzi simbi and i'm still have to market it aiwa tino tenda urambe uchikurudzira mamwe madzimai vangada kuuyao vachiita part of uh, uh, this movement and join the music industry industry akati wome asit tinoona uri kuramba uchiita push boundaries and we continue to to urge you to to actually inspire other young women to also um, get the advice and uh, the skills that you're getting from uh, the institute for young women development but as well, Urumbo Taura, Reneve Chidiki, Unumbo Nairem Kana, Utaura now, which was the desire. I understand San Rambo to Nombo it a mentor other girls because you all call no mentorship at one time. Urushando never scan a Vichidiki. Yes, it is not so Shanda now, and I can say when you can go to Ivan, never turning over Chiru Kuch Poro, but it is not so Taura any number of girls. The Shiva Kuru Zira, the Gujoji in the near future. Yeah. Through in the nonsense, but in the near future, galo, which and the van Vacasiana Siana, Vanima skills, Acasiana Siana, the Shiva Menta, Nikua, and Sabot, Sutonavano, reputed to and the like mm, I want to know Marshoko. Thank you so much for joining us on Capital 100.4 FM and all the best in your musical career and may you continue to push boundaries, eh? Okay, you're welcome. Thank you so much. I was speaking to Titi Masawi. She's a musician and she just gave us the track that we played uh, called Feminism and the other time I think we also played another song that has got amazing lyrics. Sanze. Panika, that... Let's continue to push boundaries and be the best versions of ourselves. Monetize the skills that we have. And the Institute for Young Women Development will help us do that. All right, I also have on the line Liziwe Kondo. And she's a farmer. Liziwe uh, Wamuka say. Hi, Wamuka. I'm going to say that 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 i say that i Kwa Na E, zvakadai tichirima tichikwani sawo ku, kuita monetize ma crops aya atinenge tarima muminda zedu kakaka siya tisema jimai atikwani siya kwenye kwa tisha tisha kichiwa kama madonesi kwa hile nzi anita masomo mkwesi kwa kwenye kichiwa nisa maria kwenye gara wina yungu wajose kwenye kichiwa unoda uti jika wosu kichangu wajose Na ndingada zakare kuziva iwewe e, unoshanda zakanyanya ne, inter, e, ne Institute for Young Women Development. Dejipi zawa dzidza. E, kana uti ndejipi zawa kubatira na zo. Kutu uwe murimi wa uri nas. E, institute for Young Women Development. Ya kandi batia. Ya kandi zirapunga. Kwa zi minda kaka garanti ngori mawa. Anguda ngori manjewe. Sika zeti kurima i business. Kaka bando kaka zonyate una kutu kurima i business. Kaka ate wana institute for Young Women Development. I can't 